Hey guys, it's Tony here from Game Freak Bug again, just bringing you another video. I hope you're having a fantastic week. I've had a fantastic day. It's been a really, really good day. I'm sitting here chilling with a beer and I'm in the mood for some orc killing, which is why I'm bringing you some gameplay of The Lord of the Rings Return of the King. It was released on the Xbox, uh, PS2, GameCube and PC, I believe, in 2003. Pretty much coinciding free. Did I actually say free there? Three. I do beg your pardon. 2003 it was released, pretty much tying in with the, the film release when that came out. Now the game, it was pretty much well received, it was pretty much, it, it was a decent adventure, I fairly enjoyed it, it's your typical run of the mill third person kind of action game uh, where you're running around playing different uh, characters from the film and it follows the film quite closely, this is the, the, this is the tree that I'm flicking up and down here, these are all the levels that are in the game. So essentially the very first level is the battle for Helm's Deep, you can all remember that kick-ass one in the uh, movies which only, I think, took up about one page in the book, from what I can remember. Maybe two pages. Maybe Tolkien was generous with that. But um, essentially, you all have to play through the Helm's Deep level. That's just the first one that you do, and it's such a great level as well. I was going to do that one, but this next one that I'm going to bring you is even better. Um, and then you diverge. So basically, there's three trees that you can go through in the game. Uh, there's the um, Path of the Wizard which is obviously Gandalf's, there's the Path of the King, which is Aragorn's um, little section, and then there's the Path of the Hobbit, which follows Frodo and Sam on the way to Mount Doom to chuck that little bit of bling into that volcano. Um, so all I thought I'd bring to you today is one of the better levels in this game. It's one of the, the, the wall attack on Minas Tirith where the orcs are trying to storm the battlements and Gandalf and the rest of the army has to kind of fight them off. Um, I know EA has this reputation of being a corporate cocksuckers and everyone hates them and they're killing gaming and blah 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 but um, the one thing I will give to EA is uh, in their movie tie-in games they didn't half go to town with the with the production, the, the, the sound um, the graphics, the sound effects and everything that they used were, was just second to none. And in this game in particular, they, they really go balls out to give you that Lord of the Rings experience. They did another game as well, which not that many people um, talk about. I don't know anyone apart from myself and one of my mates, Bob, that actually played the game. Um, which, again, is another example of a, 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 a fairly decent game that no one actually played, but because it was released by EA, the production values of that were through the roof as well. But I'm gonna bring you that in my next video. I'm not gonna tell you what the game is. I want it to be a bit of a surprise, but uh, we're going in now. Let's so let, let's see what we're gonna be doing here. We're gonna go with the Path of the Wizard, Rose the Eyes. These are the ones that have obviously come through. So we're gonna play Minas Tirith, the top of the wall. So there'll, there'll probably be a little bit of an introductory thing here. Where's Gandalf? Um, introductory thing just a bit of a uh, scenes from the film just so you kind of get the idea of what's going on when Sauron learns that the ring is in when the Sauron he will be drawn. I'd love to be able to do an Ian McKellen impression I, I don't think I'd, I'd, I'd actually yeah, stop you know that guy Josh Robert Thompson who does the absolutely the amazing Morgan Freeman sure. voice um, if I could do a, a Ian McKellen voice I'd um, just do it all day long just ring people up. Then the war will come, and Rohan will ride to Gondor's aid. Reminds me, I really should watch the Lord of the Rings films again. It's just finding a day spear, and that's just to watch one of them. Aragorn travels through Death's shadow to summon to the White City an army that even Bite me, Aragorn. cannot master. With Pippin, I travel to Minas Run, Shadow Fox! The anvil upon which we must beat Sauron's army. Ding, 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 ding. To buy Frodo and Sam enough time. Minas Terrace. It's quite an impressive uh, structure, that building. Word has reached my ears of this Aragorn, son of Elthorn, and I tell you now, I will not bow to this ranger from the north. <laughs> I bet you will. Is there any hope, Gandalf, for Frodo and Sam? There never was Come on. Much hope. Just to I want to see it fade from the clear Maybe Ian McKellen film years. Ian McKellen into the, the dodgy, snubby-nosed video game Ian McKellen. 
So you all remember this bit. This is basically the video game bit that we're playing through now. Here we go. Whoa. So essentially, it's your standard fear. You've got a weak and a strong attack. You've got a melee button. Running up to these, uh, what we've got to do here is essentially just dodge these orcs for a second. They keep putting up these siege ladders. So we've got to run around and hit B. He's having a bad day. Uh, to drop these siege ladders down because uh, you'll notice in the top right hand corner there is a, a circle with an orc's head that, here we go, here's another, that keeps filling up. If that gets to maximum, if it fills up to its uh, maximum, um, the place just gets flooded with orcs and uh, essentially you just end up dying lots. So you've just got to basically keep patrolling this. Uh, you've got to keep patrolling this for... Uh, Second, kick that down. Kick some more on ass. So an easy way. So you see here, if you hit your black button, Gandalf runs down to these ramparts here. So this just gives you a, a quicker way of dealing with the ladders, really. So you don't have to deal with all of the orcs. So you can see there it. If, if you're quick, it, it, you, you won't actually see any more orcs. There may be a few stragglers that come around at the top, but um, this is the good way of doing it. It's not, a, it's not a cheat or anything like that. So we've, we've got to keep these at bay. And then what the pesky, pesky orcs decide to do is bring in some siege towers to try and um, get us out of this position. But um, I want to go back up the top. To try and bring some siege towers along, um, but we have catapults to deal with that. So it's in the way. Oh, right, we're going to be in trouble in a second. To get down there and start sending out these rounds. as well. Do it. Can't see what you're doing. Run, run. Oh, scum. Oh, another ladder. Quick, 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 quick. We'll know when we've got to get to the catapults because it uh, very kindly gives you a uh, cutscene. You see only the sound effects and the, the music and the soundtrack and everything. It's, it's fantastic. Apart from when it does that. Oh, go up. See you later. <laughs> right, so here we go. I love that. It's, I don't know why, it's just amazing. Oh, such a sad, sad troll. Look at him. He's kind of just having a really bad day. Can you chase him? Right. Pull the catapult! Right, where is it? Here it comes. Go on. Yeah, that's one. I think, I think he's taking about two hits. Bonus points if you take out the uh, the ring race dragon thing, Naz Nazel, whatever they call that. I can't remember what they told them. Right, come on. We're starting to fill up on that bar. It's not looking good. Get out of the way! It's off. Does have a ranged range attack on here? 
Oh, I've got to take this out the more traditional way. So that's that one down, so we've got to get back there and take that ladder. Piss off. Sucks to be you. Oh, my wife, I love her. Come on, what are we waiting for? Get on the job. And let's scratch one siege tower. Right, back down. We've got one more siege tower to take out on the right, which. This one's landed. Look at that big gang of orcs. Come on, lads. Let's go. We've just got to throw these down and then we can just use our range attack again to get that out because these orcs will just come and sod us if we. Come on. There we go. I hope that didn't crush any orcs. Oh dear. Pour boiling oil on them or something. Poor trolls, just so misunderstood. Oh. Right, so we've just got to clean out the last of these. And then... Gotta go downstairs and try and defend the battle battlements. Gandalf's such a badass. Come on. That's only finishing boy. There you go. Oh, he just made it. <laughs> Blessed to be a wizard, eh? You've got that big bubble shield. It's like an Asari vanguard. 
So there you go guys, Lord of the Rings Return of the King on the Xbox. It's a fantastic little slasher if you're into that sort of thing. Um, the production values are really good, it plays really well, it does get staggeringly tough later on though, specifically the level after this where you have to fight three cave trolls at the same time. So thanks for tuning in and watching this video, uh, hopefully um, you enjoyed it, let me know if you did. Let me know if you want to see any more of this game, if, if by all means, if you want to see any of the um, levels with Aragorn or Frodo, I'll be more than happy to record something and uh, show you any of those. So guys, again, thanks for tuning in. Tony from Game Food Blog signing out. Catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.